Good morning. Welcome to This Week. Now what? How business is done in this town has to change. After two weeks of complete chaos, Washington finally gets its act together, ending the shutdown crisis. But with new deadlines looming, what's to keep it from happening again? Is Washington broken beyond repair? This morning, tough questions for all sides. Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi, Tea Party hero Ted Cruz, and GOP star Jeb Bush. Plus, recently in Washington, unfortunately, we have seen examples of the wrong kind of leadership. Hillary, back on the campaign trail. The powerhouse roundtable looks ahead to 2016 and takes on a stunning week in politics. It's all right here this Sunday morning. From ABC News, This Week with George Stephanopoulos starts now. Hello again, I'm Martha Raddatz. George is off today, great to have you with us. I'm here with ABC's John Carl and Jeff Zeleny, and let's show that moment again. There it was yesterday, Hillary Clinton taking the stage, talking about leadership and the state of politics, her first explicitly political event in more than four years. When you see that moment, John Carl, how can you think anything but that she's running? Uh, you really can. And I'll tell you, she may not have told anybody yet that she's running, but those that have supported her and worked for her in the past are 100 percent convinced she's going to do it again. It sure looks like it. we have lots more to cover this morning, including what's next now that the government shutdown is over. But first to news breaking overnight, those two convicted murderers in Florida who incredibly forged their way out of jail. Now back behind bars after being captured last night in Panama City, our own Steve Osinsami is there. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Martha. It was like a scene out of a movie. Police racing to this motel in Panama City, finally catching up to those convicted killers who, according to authorities, had been here since Wednesday. Police say they surrendered without incident, came out with their hands up. It has been a long journey for these two. First, forging their way out of a prison here with fake documents, including a forged judge's signature ordering their release early. They were serving life sentences without parole, and somehow they were released. This has been a shame for law enforcement officials and the legal system in Florida in general. And there have been calls for changes to the system in terms of how those orders are processed. This morning, these two men are in a county jail here and are expected to be handed over to corrections officials and could be back in prison as soon as today. Martha. Thanks, Steve. Incredible story. And before we get to Leader Pelosi, Senator Cruz, Governor Bush, let's bring back our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, and our senior Washington correspondent, Jeff Zeleny. And John, let me start with you. There were really no winners, according to President Obama, in the government shutdown and having it reopen. But he will make some gains, he seems to think. How does he do that? How does he continue well, forward? Well, look, the, the big thing here is after the downgrade in 2011, the president brought in his senior staff and said, we are not going to do this again. We have to end government by crisis. So he drew the line, a red line, if you will, Martha, on this, that he wasn't going to debate over the debt ceiling. He managed to break it. The Republicans gave in entirely. Now the question is, what does he do with it? Uh, he's still five years in almost, does not have a bipartisan legislative accomplishment. Is he finally now going to be able to work with the Republicans on something? Big question. And that question to you, Jeff Zeleny, are the Republicans willing to work with him suddenly now? Well, that is the real question. Was there a lesson learned? Did Republicans learn the lesson? And it depends who you talk to. If you talk to Senator Ted Cruz, as John did, he says, we are going to fight again. A shutdown was worth it, but not Mitch McConnell, the leader of Republicans in the Senate. He says a shutdown will not happen again. So the sense that I get from talking to so many Republicans across the board is that they know this hurt the brand of the party. They know that they must come to some type of an agreement here. But the argument is still the same. 
Republicans do not want to give on taxes, and Democrats don't want to give on entitlement. So we're nearly in the same position, but it's a smaller deal we're talking about. So I think they'll work something out. But I a don't bit think of a there'll be another John? shutdown. Yeah, I, I think so. And there's also a question. A lot of Democrats want to hit the Republicans while they're down. They see a chance for another wave election in 2014. That's not really something that, you know, would say compromises in the air. Thank you, John. Thank you, Jeff. We'll look forward to it.